Hey, remember Chevy Bolt uh, in 2016 that made a pretty big splash because it was the only other electric car besides Tesla to have a, a range of over 200 miles. But since then, uh, nothing really happened. And mainly because Chevy wasn't really ever pushing uh, this car. And we, a lot of us kind of forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. But it looks like it's going to get a second life. And that's pretty exciting. It looks like it's first going to be doing this in China. But very quickly after that, the expectations are that there will be a here for the United States and they're working on a crossover SUV they're calling it electric utility vehicle um, but it's going to be based on Volt that's what the word on the street is um, and I'm going to show you some pictures there's also a spy video I'm going to show you and just let's just see how this 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 might be a good thing so uh, let's talk about all of this coming up next Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of a Chevy Bolt. Uh, one, because of its, uh, you know, looks. Uh, but secondly, it's because Chevy hasn't really um, told anybody about it. So uh, so that that's my... Now, I am a Chevy Bolt owner. As a matter of fact, I bought it as a commuter car originally. Boom, about a year ago here in Sacramento. And then when I uh, returned my Tesla, you know, I thought, well, I'll just buy something else relatively quickly. But as I was just left to drive this car, the Volt, uh, for a few weeks, I, I actually kind of fell in love with it. And I'm just driving it as my main vehicle right now. And I'm in, no longer in a rush to buy anything else. Um, so, uh, and I've always said, here's the thing. I've always said this, the Chevy Bolt technology is awesome. It's just the body that it's in is just not. But if you take that technology and put in a better looking car like the Chevy Bolt or literally almost any other Chevy car, which I think is pretty decent looking, you got something because they have the technology. Why not just put it in all different cars? I mean, I just don't see a, uh, um, I don't see how they can go wrong with it. I mean, obviously they need to have a demand for that. They need to advertise, but um, so basically I really thought that the best way for the Chevy Bolt to kind of exist is to be reincarnated into something else. And you can't spell reincarnation without the car. And, and whenever you can't spell something without other thing, it must happen. You know that. But, uh, you know, I, I, I really, really, really think this is the way to go. And it looks like I'm getting my wish. So what it looks like, um, this. This is the pictures kind of leaked out uh, through carnewschina.com. It's not the first time they're delivering some of the pictures of the cars that have been launched in China. Um, and, you know, this is this is no surprise. A lot of manufacturers are launching their cars in China first because China has a very strict regulations that are going to get even stricter the next year um, for uh, how many electric cars each manufacturer has to produce. Now, this car is going to be produced, uh, you know, pretty much a, a, anybody uh, but Tesla has to partner up with a Chinese-based company company in this case uh gm partner up with sake so sake gm um they've already been producing this electric car called buick menlo ev right here it's actually not a bad looking car um only in china and the range is okay it's like a realistic range is in the low hundreds, maybe 150 on a good day. Um, so not horrible, but not really that good. And so it looks like the new, uh, whatever you want to call it, the, the, the new Chevy um, crossover SUV, um, utility vehicle, whatever you want to call it, um, this is going to be based on that car. But the rumors are, is that here in the United States, when it comes here, um, it will be called Chevy uh, e, Chevy Bolt EUV electric utility vehicle and it's going to pretty much look like this right because you can see the Chevy logo on, on there not the Buicks not uh, uh, say so so this is good news um, now Chevy is kind of not really talking about it and denying it but they can do they they got to move forward and it looks like this is the new path now here's a spy video that um that was posted and I don't even know who to give the um, credit to. Uh, is it gmauthority.com? Is it KGP photography? Either way, thank you for uh, uh, bringing that video to us that you literally just froze. Um, so as you can see, this is what people believe is uh, EUV, the Bolt EUV that's being tested. Um, it definitely looks very close. I mean, not don't they all, but um, a lot of people saying there are a lot of similarity. As a matter of fact, it's almost the same body style as this car over here. So, 
what does it really mean for Chevy and what, what, what are they going to have to do with this? And I'm going to show you a few other pictures that have been released before that. Of course, a quick reminder that uh, this video and this show is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV that's on the market uh, uh, at the end of this year in China uh, and at the end of the next year in Europe and here in the United States. And look how fast and easy it is to reserve one, mainly because you don't have to put any money down. Join myself and over 50,000 other people uh, by reserving this uh, amazing car. Um, uh, yourself uh, and the link is in the description of uh, this video all right so like, let's look at some other pictures and i gotta tell you it, it, it the, the way they got released of low quality by the way it's just really where they bother I, I, do not bother at all with any type of the backgrounds but whatever i say it's a really good looking crossover i mean this is what people kind of want this would be a uh, probably competition for the kia uh, a nero ev and and uh, for a couple of others especially in europe and I don't think they have to change that much. Here's the back of it. Again, I think it's kind of good looking. Now, this is a weird shot, but I get it. This is the uh, pretty good panoramic uh, sunroof. Um, appears like this is a camera that's going to be built in uh, uh, to the windshield. So we're either talking about, well, we're probably talking about some uh, self-driving capabilities, maybe keeping the car in a lane or whatever. Uh, but again, I just don't understand why it's only Tesla that's using these cameras uh, to record like a dash cam. I really hope that other companies will start doing it. Who knows? Maybe it will be with the with this new Chevy car. Um, here's the door handles. They're really, you know, they're no door, they're, they're no Tesla door handles where they will, you know, come out and in. But they also will never not come out. So, and as you guys know, I absolutely hate the um, the ghetto Model Three door handles. They're just, yeah, no. Um, now, oh, yeah, so. What is what what is Chevy need to do here? Because they promised us, I think, like eighteen uh, uh, electric models by twenty twenty three, and they really kind of wasted a couple of years since they released it. If anything, they've uh, discontinued the Vault, which actually I really, really, really didn't like. Um, bottom line is they're going to have to take the technology. Hopefully updated a little, even though it's pretty good right now. I got to tell you, the user interface and the, and the battery technology is not bad even by today's uh, measures. They definitely can compete as long as it's over 200 miles. I know in China it's not going to be over 200 miles, but here if they're using the Bolt technology, it will be. And they have to take, and they're going to have to start selling them. For real this time, they're going to have to do some advertising. They're going to have, they're going to let uh, myself and many other you know social media influencers drive it and actually hopefully like it. I'm already a fan, and I don't really get that much communication from uh, a Chevy as far as like, hey, uh, uh, get ready. There's going to be something coming at the end of the next year or this year or whatever. They just there's nothing. They're pretty quiet. So. I hope that this is a bit of a kick uh, in the butt by really their own good. Um, yes, I get it why it has to be in China first, but um, uh, hopefully maybe next year um, this will be in the United States. So by the way, they, they, in China, they're launching it in September. So we're not talking about like maybe at some point. No, they're launching it uh, in September in one of the car shows. So uh, I, I, I can't wait. I do think it's a good looking car. Um, and not a bad looking car handle either, but I'm just trying to get to uh, the original image that I showed you guys because I, uh, I am, I am definitely digging it. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. I mean, uh, I would you, would you, would you buy this one? I gotta tell you, if this car is priced like at around thirty-five thousand dollars, or maybe as long as it's under forty, um, and and hopefully has at least even half of the tax credit. This is not a bad deal, even if we just go with the same, what, 238 mile radius. This is not a bad deal. And I got to tell you, it is a pleasure to drive my little Volt. This should be at the very least the same experience. So yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm in. Uh, don't forget to participate in our uh, program called Feed a YouTuber. And uh, thank you to one of my newer Patreons, and that's where you do it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce your name, so I'm not even gonna try, but thank you. Um, uh, for uh, for contributing, you know this is uh, this is my full time gig. Uh, this is how I basically provide for myself. So thank you so much for uh, for helping me with that, helping me to stay on the air and bring you all these stories. Um, and of course, you get to watch uh, me live. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you here in the uh, in the uh, chat as we always have the live chat as I'm doing this live actually right now. So uh, thank you to all of my patrons for contributing to uh, to um, to my uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really. Uh, uh, don't forget to sign up with our VIP list where we deliver uh, uh, every Saturday we deliver a bonus story uh, that the just story that we couldn't fit into all of the stories that we do on the channel and then on our website so you just get it absolutely free um, you just go to e4electric.com slash VIP and that link is also in the description of this video all right
Looking forward to the comment section. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Bye.